Here on our good old planet Earth, water is literally everywhere. Not only in the oceans and seas, but also in the atmosphere, in the ground, and even in our cells. It covers as much as 71% of the surface of our planet. Looks like our planet should have been called water and not Earth. But what would happen if water and land were distributed equally? What if half of the planet became land and the other half was water? Well, let's find out. First of all, let's discuss what we mean by equally. Despite all the things mentioned earlier, there's actually not so much water on our planet. Yeah, if you collected it all in one giant drop, it'd be slightly larger than the United States in size. And all this amount of water would only be 0.02% of the total mass of Earth. So, it turns out that all these horrifying unexplored ocean depths are basically nothing. And now, just imagine if we changed the composition of our planet by leveling the volume of water and land. What would happen then? Then, we'd get a very creepy ocean planet. The planet would look like one boundless ocean. It'd be very unlikely that you'd find even a couple of small islands on it. And if you did find them, they'd probably be the tops of huge underwater mountains. This world would be practically uninhabitable. If you were on its surface, you wouldn't be able to see the sun or anything else in the sky. You wouldn't know what time of day it is or where exactly you are. All because of the incredibly thick fog and clouds. This kind of weather would be permanent on such a planet. Moreover, you wouldn't even understand where the fog ends and the water begins. All because the humidity would be that high. But could there still be life? Well, maybe inside the ocean itself? Unfortunately, this is also quite unlikely. You see, to get to the bottom of this ocean, you'd have to swim vertically down, not for several hours, but for several days. And even after such a journey, you wouldn't see the bottom yet. The ocean wouldn't be bottomless, of course, but the seabed would consist mainly of very hard, impenetrable ice. But not the kind of ice we're used to. This ice would be exotic. There are different types of it called ice 5, ice 6, and so on. Usually, these types of ice aren't as cold as regular ice and may not melt even at high temperatures. And there would be almost no algae or anything like that. So fish would simply have nothing to eat. That's why if life appeared on such a planet, it would be a miracle. This life would have to withstand a pressure of more than 20,000 Earth atmospheres. Even the most horrifying monsters from the Mariana Trench would be nothing in comparison to the creatures you'd find on this ocean planet. But could we humans live there? Well, theoretically, yes, but it would be extremely hard. We could create something like giant underwater stations, but we would still have thousands of problems. Where to get food and other resources, how to repair stuff, and so on. So it would be far from the best option. Okay, now we know that an ocean planet doesn't sound too endearing. What about another option? What would happen if the surface of the Earth was 50% water and 50% land? For this to happen, we'd need to reduce the current amount of water from 71 to 50%. In this case, the sea level would drop by about 2 miles, and a quarter of our planet would become dry land. Although it doesn't sound like much, the consequences would be disastrous. Right now, there are five interconnected oceans on Earth – Atlantic, Indian, Pacific, Southern, and Arctic. But if we lowered the sea level, all these oceans would simply disappear. They'd turn into separate closed reservoirs and seas. On the contrary, all the continents would merge into one giant landmass, almost as if we swapped the land and water. At first, it would seem pretty cool. Now, you could literally walk around the world. However, the amount of land you'd have to travel would also increase. Every continent on the planet would grow in size. All this new territory would be approximately equal to the current area of Asia, Europe, Africa, and North America combined. Well, that would be a huge mass of unused space. But what would we find on these new territories? Most of them would be pretty flat. But in places where there used to be deep oceans, you would see vast corridors and steep crevices. Now, here's another cool thing. Most of the sunken cities would return to the surface. And no, unfortunately, we wouldn't find Atlantis among them. But there would still be a lot of other cool places. For example, 
the ancient Roman city of Baia, which, according to legends, was basically a paradise on Earth with all its luxurious villas and gardens. Or Heraklion, the city that went under the sea thousands of years ago and was considered a myth for a long time. So yeah, we could organize tours to these ancient places. But of course, not everything would be fun and games in such a world. Due to a severe loss of water, ocean currents would be disrupted, and this would lead to very serious climate problems. The ocean absorbs the heat radiated by the sun. Thanks to the currents, this heat is distributed all over Earth, which creates a stable and pleasant climate. But if these currents were disrupted, then the temperatures on Earth would become more extreme. It would get much hotter near the equator and even colder around the North and South Poles. So yeah, unfortunately, the Antarctic ice wouldn't save us. It would be quite the opposite. The regions around the North and South Poles would completely dry out, basically turning into dry, cold deserts. In addition to heat, water also absorbs carbon dioxide from the air. And since the oceans wouldn't be able to absorb it, this gas would begin to accumulate in the atmosphere. This poisonous excess would cover the entire planet. The average temperatures would increase, and the whole planet would start to dry out slowly. Massive forest fires would break out, and so on. Hmm, sound familiar? Now to make matters worse, there would be nothing to extinguish these fires, because, you know, rains can't form from nothing. So yeah, the precipitation levels would fall, and this would lead to dangerous droughts. We'd get a bunch of new deserts on all the continents. Despite getting all those new territories, it's unlikely that we could somehow build new cities and towns there. Many of these territories would be uninhabitable. Not only because many forests and plants would disappear, but also because most animals would migrate to more pleasant places. As a result, we would have great difficulty finding any food at all. So, all life on our planet, plants, animals, and people, would have to adapt to new living conditions. They would have to evolve quickly and get used to the constant shortage of water. Animals, for example, could shrink in size because of this. Many of them, due to the lack of grass and moisture, would switch to a strictly carnivorous diet. And of course, we would have to say goodbye to the huge abundance of marine life. Many fish would disappear forever. Humans, most likely, would make a big evolutionary step backward. Not only because we would lose a large number of resources and move to new territories, but also because we would also lose access to one of the most important sources of energy in the world, hydroelectric power. Without electricity, many factories would stop working. To say that this would cause a large-scale crisis for us all is sadly obvious. So our current ratio of water and land is the best possible option. If there was too little or too much water, the consequences would be awful. That's why we need to protect the current conditions with all of our might. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.